we can't talk about investing without talking about risk. It's the uncertainty that your investments may not perform as expected or even lead to losses. Kind of like the unpredictable twists and turns of a roller coaster ride. Let's figure out your risk tolerance. Your personal comfort level of making investments that could make you a lot of money or lose it. Do the unexpected twists and turns of the market leave you feeling queasy? You likely have a low risk tolerance. If you can roll with market ups and downs, your risk tolerance may be higher. Understanding where you fall can help you make investment choices that are right for you. One powerful way to manage risk is diversification. Diversification involves spreading your money across different types of investments, so you don't put all of your eggs in one basket. It doesn't eliminate all risk, it balances it across your portfolio. So if an investment hits a downturn, it doesn't drag down your whole portfolio. And if a market is booming, you don't miss out. Think about it like a garden. If you only plant tomatoes, a cold snap could wipe out your entire harvest. But if you plant a bunch of different vegetables, you'll still have green beans, carrots, and zucchini to harvest. Just as different plants thrive in different conditions, a diverse portfolio can weather various market conditions, helping you maximize potential gains and protect your wealth in the long term. There are lots of ways to diversify your investment portfolio. One, spread investments across a mix of asset classes, like stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and exchange-traded funds, or ETFs. Don't worry, we'll cover these in a later video. Two, invest in various sectors, such as technology, healthcare, finance, and consumer goods to protect against industry-specific risks. For example, the impact of a public health crisis could ripple through the entire healthcare sector. If you have a lot of healthcare investments, your entire portfolio would feel the effects. Three, spread investments across different regions or countries to reduce the impact of regional economic events. For example, in the financial crisis of 2007-2008, global securities would help cushion the blow to your portfolio. And four, invest in different size companies, such as small cap, mid cap, and large cap, to balance risk and return potential. Diversification is not just about owning a lot of investments, it's about owning the right mix of investments that work together to minimize risk. So consider your risk tolerance, diversify your portfolio wisely, and enjoy a smoother investing journey. Here are some key takeaways. All investing comes with some level of risk. Age, investment goals, and income can all contribute to someone's risk tolerance. Diversification helps mitigate some risk not all. There are various ways to diversify a portfolio. You can invest in stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and ETFs with the stock market game. We'll show you how in our next video.